Okay, people. Check this out. Welcome to Conflict Avenue number two. Um, so, this video is about Into the Badlands. Right? It's one of my favorite shows. It only got three seasons. It was pretty good. But now I'm mad. Because the way they ended the show left me with more questions than answers. And I don't like that. I do not like cop-out endings. I do not like cliffhangers. I don't like anything in the universe that goes unanswered, unsolved, and no complete closure. There should be a law against this. So it took me a while. I had to binge watch the last season, the last eight or nine episodes. And granted, it was a great show. If you're a martial artist, you've been watching Into the Badlands. And if you hadn't gotten into Into the Badlands, then you need to get off this video right now because spoilers are about to happen. All right? So... First off, to the actor who plays Bashi, I love you. You are the white Sammo Hung. All right? For those who don't know who Sammo Hung is, Google Martial Law. Great show. I wish I could have been on it. Google Fat Dragon. Google anything with Jackie Chan, and you're bound to find Sammo Hung. And better even still, if you want to know who Sammo Hung is, Google Sammo Hung. H-U-N-G. All right? Big guy. My hero. I love Jackie Chan. I love Jet Li. I love Samuel Hung. And that in a gay way. Those are some of the best martial artists in the world, and I would love to work with them. Samo, if you're listening and you ever want to come back to USA, come and get me. I need a job. I'm ready to do this. I've been ready to do this for a long time, since martial law. But my acting career has never taken off. That being said, we're going back to Into the Badlands now. Into the Badlands, man, uh, started off with Sonny and the Clippers. Sonny having a baby with his wife and it going from bad to worse. I mean, the show was awesome, but every situation, it just only seemed to get worse for Sonny. Uh, and luckily he made it out with, with only scars, you know. Um, in the final season, they brought in this big black dude. I love him too because he's a big dude and he did really well with martial arts. Martial artists can um, can come in all shapes and sizes. But the actors, who whoever was their teacher and their fight choreographer, kudos to this guy. And if it was you, Larry, Larry Lamb, Warlock, yeah. Awesome. Maybe it was Wizard. Mic chat. You know, I get both of you guys confused with your, your call names from WMAC. Might even have been Her Perez, Olympus. Might even have been a McKee. A, a, I can't say his name right to save my life, and I've been a fan of his forever. Hakeem Austin. So, if you guys don't know who they are, go Google WMAC Masters. Now, all the fight scenes in Into the Badlands was some chock sucky motherfucking badass action. So, that being said, as a martial artist, you know, they were great. And as a story, you know, this is like, it was like a martial arts soap opera, which is something I've always wanted to do. Kind of like the Kung Fu show with David Carradine, only more vigorous action and less drama. But the drama was good too. But the action was the main reason why I watched it. And certain people that I was pulling for to go right went left and certain people that I thought would go left and stay left went right. And then there was Sonny. And every decision that he would make would be on the influence because of his child. All right. And then there was Baji, which was basically every decision he was made to help his friend. The little bromance that him and Sonny had. And it's an awesome fucking show. And this is the part where the spoilers come in. As a person who does martial arts, as a person who has read a few Asian stories, get the yellow book, it's a good book. Um, a lot of Asian stories end in tragedy, which is just how Asia is, because a lot of Asian legends end in tragedy. You get those good ones that don't, like Wen Chung, like Mulan, uh, I can't remember the Samurai Princess, but you know, you know who I'm talking about if you're Asian, you at least know some of the things I'm talking about. If you're ABA, which means American-born Asian, you might be a little out of the loop. But as a martial artist, I'm well into the loop of certain legends because some of my kung fu is based 
on those legends. Oh, so that being said, <coughs> into the Badlands. I don't recall them featuring the Psy. I almost dropped that. So that was one spoiler. I do want to give um, props to the guy that played Baji because he worked those nunchucks, which he he did a damn good job. And of course, I can't find my nunchucks, but they're in here somewhere. He did a damn good job with the nunchucks. And the the final fight. There's nunchucks, there's spears, there's broad swords, there are all kinds of martial art weapons involved, and there's like double swords, there's some Kali being used. There's all different types of martial arts in this thing. Um, I'm a little behind in my brain as to what I see and what I remember. So I don't remember if they ever came across anybody who did Capoeira. I do know that they came across a lot of different martial arts styles in there. So start from season one. If you haven't seen it, again, I'm about to spoil things, so you need to go away right now. Um, their, um, their main bad guy, the big black guy, I like to say he's dead, but I did see another guy get stabbed the same way and survive. So um, they did put some twists in there. They threw in a sister for Sunny. She could only be said untrustworthy, but trustworthy by the end. Um, Sunny is reunited with his son for a little bit, and then he goes into the final battle. And this is where the spoiler alert comes in. I know that Baji makes it. I know that Sunny's sisters make it, and I know his sister. Excuse me. And I know that the baby Henry makes it. I know that the widow make it, and she's pregnant. MK doesn't make it. The widow's daughter, Talia, Tilia, whatever, she doesn't make it. But you're left with the question of, is Sonny dead, or is he just out the fuck out? You know, he did get stabbed. Yeah. And then he used the same knife to stab the big black guy, Pilgrim. But at the end, he's in the astral plane talking with the master. And it ends like that. With her telling him that his time's not up and that he has work to do. Where one of Pilgrim's followers finds a golden handgun. And she has told Sonny in the astral plane that there's a bigger evil coming. But the show's over. It's done. It wasn't a season finale, it was a series finale. So, what the fuck happens next? So my question to AMC and to Daniel Wong, Wu, Daniel the Master, Sonny, because your name goes by so damn quick. I know it starts with a W, so I wasn't sure if it was Wong or if it was Wu. That covers my ass, so that I don't sound like a racist. Anyway, are you guys going to make the Farscape plan, or the Star Trek fan plan, or the stick with the Battlestar Galactica reboot ending, which is just a fucking cop out. All right, I I'm gonna touch on that in a second. See, when Fargate, excuse me, not Fargate, Farscape, when Farscape was canceled, they made a series of mini movies to wrap it up. It was called Far Fargate. Eh, can I talk today? It's called Farscape: The Peacekeeper Wars, and that was like five episodes. So it was like probably a complete two-hour movie, but it was five episodes, and it shows what happens to um, Aaron, Dargo, and John Crichton and the crew of the Leviathan. All right, so that ends that, and that's kind of what I'm hoping that they do. Now, the Battlestar Galactica cop-out was Starbuck vanishes. They fly all the fleet's ships into the sun. The Galactica and every damn thing else, so they're stranded on that one planet. They left all the technology that they're ever going to need 
on those ships and flew them into the sun. That's kind of what you can compare the end of Into the Badlands to. Because it's like a big... I love the show, so forgive me for what I'm about to say. But it's like a big... We just fucked you with no Vaseline in the ass. And we didn't even tell you it was coming. We just pulled it out of vagina and just jammed that bitch right in your ass. Like, wrong hole surprise! Because I'm watching it, and it ends with him on his back, and they're sprinkling dirt on him while they're holding the baby, and they're telling him how they're going to tell his son how much of a great man he was. And while they're doing that, they go into the astral plane of the limbo or whatever, the space between heaven and hell, and he's talking to the master, and I can't remember if he met NK or not, but they're, they're doing all this shit. But it's like they just wrapped it without giving you a full-blown conclusion. The magical, mystical witch that kind of is responsible for all this shit, she escapes. And I'm a little mad about that because she killed a really, really good chick. But the dude that she was in love with, his fist shoots rocket knives. He did not shoot this broad in the back, which is what I would have done. But instead, the other two people that attack him, he shoots them. This shit has range. I've seen him use it when he first got it. This shit had range. Why did he not put a knife through that broad's back? But yet, it ends with the um, one of the um, things that was once said either in Spider-Man, the animated series, or the X-Men. I'm pretty sure it was Spider-Man. We said, I will follow you to the ends of the earth. And uh, that was when he... um had got the black suit. So the black man to the black woman in the boat says, you will never be safe. You will never hunt. I mean, find a, a safe place. I will hunt you down. You better run and keep running because I'm going to find you. I will dedicate my life basically to hunting you down and killing you for stabbing my girlfriend. And that's basically how that ends in that scene. And he turns around to see other people coming in. He shoots two knives into them, which he could have saved himself a lot of trouble by doing that. Now, I don't know if the show's going to get a spinoff. And if it does, I need a job. But if it doesn't, then please make a wrap-up movie like Farscape did to finish it. Like, completely finish it instead of giving us this cop-out ending like Battlestar Galactica. Outside of that, the show was fucking awesome. All three seasons were great. You should probably go look into it. I'm James Williams Jr. Come for having number two. B, C, and U. And thank you for paying attention for the last 13 and a half minutes of your life that you can't get back.